Welcome into the Chiefs Report. I am Harrison Graham. If you're being sent over from our main chat sports YouTube channel, we are talking about the latest surrounding Chris Jones. If you're watching for the first time on our Chiefs channel, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. Now, as we all know, Chris Jones is set for free agency this offseason. It's been a topic of discussion here on the Chiefs Report a lot. Nationally, everybody knows he's one of the biggest free agent available on the market. Now, the latest report is Kansas City wants to keep Jones and not under the, under the franchise tag, although they'll probably do so if they have to. They would like to sign him to a brand new contract. But can the Chiefs afford to pay top dollar? We'll explore some options for the Chiefs and Chris Jones in just a little bit. But his last three years especially, but his entire rookie deal, which is these four seasons, he's been fantastic. He's outplayed that second round uh, draft pick that the Chiefs were able to get him in a few years ago. 24 and a half sacks the last two years combined, including nine this year, while moving from a 3-4 to a 4-3 defense sliding inside to play defensive tackle. Uh, he's been great. Uh, him and Frank Clark have been one of the best duos in the NFL this past season, especially the second half of the season. And Chris Jones wants Frank Clark money. That's the bottom line. Clark got five years, $104 million, almost $21 million per year. Why wouldn't Chris Jones want a contract similar to that, especially when you look at that guaranteed number? Chris Jones is going to want over $60 million guaranteed. That is a lot of the problem with these contracts. That's the sticking point typically between agents and teams is that guaranteed dollar. He's gonna want a lot of guaranteed money. Now, when you're comparing these two, which one should get more money? Who deserves more? Should Chris Jones get more or less than what Frank Clark got? I think the answer is more, but I also think the reality is that he's going to get less. I think the Chiefs slightly overpaid Clark. They had more money at the time and he had the leverage because he was under a tag that Seattle had given him before the trade. Now Chris Jones, fast forward a year later, he's in the same situation. The difference is the Chiefs have less money to offer. They have other contracts they have to decide on, like a Sammy Watkins, a possible Patrick Mahomes extension. So the answer is more, but the reality is he's probably going to get less. Now, if this is your first time watching the Chiefs Report, we launched a few months back trying to ramp up the videos here on our Chiefs Only Chat Sports YouTube channel. The link is down below, chatsports.com slash Chiefs, but you're watching right now, so just hit that subscribe button. We'll have coverage all offseason long, the latest rumors, the latest news, free agency coverage, NFL draft coverage, mock drafts. I'm going to ramp up one of those very, very soon. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs. Just hit that red subscribe button. Join the movement. Let's get to 1,000 subs by the end of February. Hey, it's a leap year, so you guys have an extra day. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs, hit that big red button. Now I've got three scenarios on what the Chiefs can do with Chris Jones, three options. Number one is re-sign him in that 18 to $22 million per year range. I think 22 is a little high. The Chiefs will not pay that. They will tag him before doing so. Um, but if you can get him at 20 or less, I think you seriously, seriously think about doing that and if you do do that, you're probably cutting Sammy Watkins. Maybe he agrees to a major restructure, but if I'm Watkins, am I agreeing to a 50 or 60% uh, pay decline? I'm not so sure. Maybe they can trade Watkins. I know uh, Green Bay has been rumored to be interested. They need a second receiver next to Devontae Adams. That could be an option as well. But likely you're going to have to cut or restructure Watkins in this scenario, which is bringing Chris Jones back on a long-term extension or a long-term contract, I should say. Shout out your favorite Chief. Obviously, I'm, I assume I'm going to see a lot of Patrick Mahomes. He can be an all-time favorite Chief, too. I used to love Jamal Charles and uh, watching him run because I thought he was one of the fastest players in the NFL. Go ahead and shout him out in the comments section. Plus, if you're a big Chiefs fan, you can get Chiefs jerseys with our partner Fanatics or Chiefs Super Bowl gear, even better, chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB. We got hoodies. We got long sleeves. Hats, all kinds of stuff. I know the Super Bowl was over a week ago. I'm still celebrating. I'm showing up with one of these shirts every single day in the chat sports office, and I'm talking mess because the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, and pff, Cowboys didn't win. The Raiders didn't win. The Chiefs did. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs SB to get this Super Bowl gear right now. Not going to last forever. These deals are as good as it gets. We'll have the link in the comments and in the description for you guys. Second option for the Chiefs regarding Chris Jones is franchise tag him. And I think this is the most likely scenario because when you look at the amount of money the Kansas City Chiefs have for these five guys, it's just hard to 
imagine a scenario where you're paying Chris Jones $21, $22 million per year long term. And this doesn't even include Patrick Mahomes, who's going to get $38 to $40 million annually over the next four or five years once that extension gets signed. Clark, Watkins, who I think will likely get cut or restructured. You got Tyreek Hill, Tyron Matthew, Eric Fisher. There's a couple of lower, uh, lower paid guys you can cut to free up some cap space like a Cam Irving. Uh, the Chiefs swing tackle, maybe Daniel Sorensen restructures as well, but that's not going to be enough to uh, bring on Chris Jones on a long-term deal. If you don't cut Sammy Watkins, Sammy or er, franchise tagging Jones is the most likely scenario, which brings us to scenario number three, franchise tag him and then trade him. Now, I do not want the Chiefs to trade Chris Jones, but there is precedence with this franchise on doing a similar thing. We saw it just last year. The Chiefs traded D Ford for a second round pick to the 49ers. Now, Chris Jones is younger. I think he's more impactful. I think he's better for what the Chiefs are wanting to do in this 4-3 scheme under Spags, but there is precedence. Now, they wouldn't take a second rounder on a trade. I think they would only do it if they got a first in return, but I think there are a lot of uh, teams out there that would trade Kansas City a first round pick for Jones. So that is an option. I don't want to see Kansas City go this route, but get a first in return maybe another player or something like that there's worse outcomes out there you definitely don't want to let him walk so I think it's one of these three options re-sign him long-term deal place him under the franchise tag or tag and trade him in the offseason those are the three scenarios if you agree with me disagree with me make sure you comment below and I'll see you next time